Okay guys, so starting with the downstairs, um, I have this chest that I found on the curb and then I'm planning on painting it, but for now I have it like that. Maybe I'll finish it this weekend. Um, right on top of it, I have one of those little French flags that I made and then my Scentsy warmer and then some greenery. Um, I used to have a little plant there and I put it somewhere else so I need to fill that space with like some greenery and then over here I have a chalkboard that I made which I want to frame it with wood all around the edges to give it more of a like refined look I guess and then on top of it I have a garland that I just draped over and then this is a sign that I made myself I used to have it on my front door and it says the Palomo family um, but this is basically everything I have downstairs. Um, I probably should make it a little bit more cozy. I am planning on getting rid of this um, chalkboard if I don't end up doing the frame around it. And then I want to put like a coat rack. I want to make it myself. So I will probably end up doing that um, if I don't do this. With my coffee bar. Um, I got this coffee bar from my neighbor. She actually gifted it to me. She found it on the curb. And it's one of my favorite little things ever. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I was talking about this. Um, and I did more of a little tour on it. Um, right on it, I have my electric kettle. A little... I don't even know what that is, but um, I have a bunch of my little spoons that I use to mix my coffee or if I have guests over that want to mix their creamer. Um, I have a riser that I made myself. I found that piece of wood on the curb and I just added a little feet to it. And then right in the middle, I have this little sifter I thrifted as well with the whisk. I put some lamp's ear greenery and then a candle to bring warmth and light to this space right above it i have this um shelf i found on the curb as well i added some greenery and then some stacked books and then this is my keurig i love it so much it's one of my favorite things i love making my coffee in the morning. Um, I use my electric kettle more for teas, but if I feel like I want to do like an instant coffee, I do use it. And then right on the actual little hutch, cause it's a tiny little hutch. I, at the very bottom shelf, I have some stuff to decorate the actual um, hutch. But at the top, I have things that I actually use for my coffee, um, which are my mugs. And then right behind it, I ended up putting a little basket so it brought in some contrast because the hutch is white and my mugs are white. And then next to it, I have my uh, canisters. These are the only Ray Dunn canisters that I own um, and I use these for my tea and my coffee. Right behind me, I have my 1940s Bassett Hutch. Um, I found this on Facebook Marketplace. I got it for $50, which was a steal. Um, I ended up painting it myself, obviously. <laughs> Everything has to be white. Um, and that's it. I have a bunch of, like what I was going for for this Hutch was like a spring garden-y, type of vibe and I put a bunch of terracotta pots in there um some plates and stuff that I've collected over the years and then stacked books and greenery and that's literally it on the actual glass door of the hutch I put a sun hat that has a bunch of little flowers I got that at the thrift store and then on top of the actual hutch I'm not really in love with what I have on top of there Eventually, I want to take everything off and then find a giant uh, basket to put a bunch of flowers and greenery just sticking out of it. So once I do that, you guys know because I will be posting it on Facebook.
I'm sorry, on Instagram. And then this is our dining area. This is where we have family dinners and where we eat all the time with our friends and family. We really don't have family here, uh, but we do consider our friends our family because they are everything we've got in this military life that we have. And then on this wall, I have this peg rack I found at the thrift store. Um, I have a bunch of cool little stuff hanging off of it. A, I think that's a blanket scarf. If not, it's a picnic blanket. Um, and then I have some stuff that I found at the thrift store, a little purse that I'm actually using as a basket with greenery hanging off of it. And then that frame, I found it on the curb. I sanded it down and then stained it myself. I don't think I've ever shared this. I don't think I've ever shared our dining table on YouTube. Um, I probably did like a cleaning video, but I really like didn't show much of it. I really don't remember. But anyway, I got this table from the Facebook Marketplace for a steal. It was $150. Um, it was originally like a cherry black stain. It was so ugly, like the stain of it. Um, but I ended up stripping it myself, staining it. Well, I didn't stain it. I ended up stripping it myself and then just waxed it and just left it as it is. It's the most prettiest thing in the world. I love it so much. And then this bench, I got it from Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, that one was maybe like $50. I really don't remember. Um, I was looking for a bench to use for my kids and I ended up finding this beautiful bench. I can't even believe it. Um, and then the end chairs are from Ashley Furniture, but I found them at the thrift store at 2nd Street for $30 each. And then these chairs right here, those were free from someone that was throwing them out because they were in really bad shape. Like they were very dirty. Um, I have a carpet cleaner and I ended up cleaning them and they are brand new again. So and as a centerpiece, I have these dispenser jars. I put some water in them and then I cut some branches off trees outside and I'm using that as like a fresh greenery centerpiece and I have some candles burning and then this I made as well is a riser. I found it, I found that piece of wood on the curb and I just added feet to it. That's it. Halfway home. On this side, I have some chests that I found at the thrift store on base. I painted them and then I also have my beautiful um, record player. It does work. And then above it on the wall, I have a shelf that I just got yesterday. I ended up trading it for a, um, what is it? Oh, I don't remember. What was it? A nightstand. And I ended up getting this instead. And I just have a bunch of my little plates and pictures that I've collected. Eventually, I want to fill it up more. But this is what I have on it right now. And then to give it more contrast and add more life to it and make it a little bit lighter than what, and make it a little lighter. I added a garland of lamp's ear on it and now it looks super pretty right there. Right behind me, I have a mantle. My husband actually helped me build this. It was our first little project. Um, I still have to fill in the cracks on it, but I'll do it later. Um, it's not nailed permanently because this is a rental. We live on base. We live on base and we don't, we can't do like permanent changes to the house, 
but right on the mantle I have this sign that I made myself it says country fresh eggs for sale even though we don't have any chickens one day I want to have chickens so we can have our own eggs from our own chickens um I wanted to keep this space uh minimal and fresh because it is a really big sign and we have a giant table i didn't want it to look or feel cluttered so i ended up using these little jars that i found at an antique store and i just stacked a bunch of them on each side of the mantle and then my main focal point is the big sign in the middle and then on top of it, I have my old window that I found on the curb a few years ago in Lejeune. And then I added a wreath on it. And then right on top of it, I have another sign I made. It says, Pray Without Seizing. I just thought it was the perfect uh, verse to have on our dining area because we pray for our food. And it just looks beautiful up there. Right over here, I have this antique sign that I made myself. Um, it used to be an eat sign from Hobby Lobby. I think you can tell in the background. <laughs> I think you can tell in the background. Um, but I ended up stenciling antique on it. And then below it is a shelf I got on Facebook. Um, and I just put a bunch of candles in there. And then those pillars, I found them on the side of the street here in Japan. We are in our living room. Um, a lot has changed and I am going to try to do this as fast as possible and give you as much information as I can. Right in front of our sectional is this book gallery wall that I made myself. Um, and right in the middle is this Hobby Lobby sign that I bought maybe two years ago. And then this bench, I bought it off of someone. It was an ugly color. I ended up bleaching it and then whitewashing it and now it goes perfect with our decor and then on it i have a blanket i wanted it to feel very warm and inviting and cozy so i put some patio lights at the very top of the wall they just end right here i eventually am going to go all around but um, that's how they look and then I have a little shelf I found I bought from the Facebook marketplace I have some old books a plant and some amber glass bottles and then these baskets I found them on the curb maybe two or three days ago and I added some eucalyptus uh, trees on it they're obviously fake um, and then this wall is so big that i needed like a big statement again in the middle of it this box spring on the side of the curb of course and i use it as a centerpiece for the wall i put a garland of eucalyptus leaves and then i also made that flag um i don't know if you guys have seen those flags anywhere i'm pretty sure you have but those are meant to be like um old french hospital flags I tea dyed them myself and I also glued on the cross on it with some drop cloths. And then over here is my antique hutch. I love this thing so much. Um, I ended up getting it as a trade for a bookshelf that I used to own. And then right inside of it are my um vintage glass insulators and then i have a bunch of old books stacked on top of each other i wanted to keep this space very like airy and still simple and cohesive so that's why i opted out for books and then on top of it i have my collection of globes and then a plant i love those globes they look so beautiful on top of that hutch is what our living room looks like the 
that beaded chandelier I got here in Japan um, on base, I paid like 70, 70, no, I paid like 83 or 85 dollars for it. Oh my god, I can't believe I found it that cheap because it is ginormous. It is absolutely beautiful. And on my windows, I have some drop cloth curtains. And on the actual sectional, a bunch of white accent pillows. Um, it just makes the room feel brighter because I have a lot because I have a lot going on. Um, I don't want to make the space look darker. So I use um, white pillows and throw blankets or like creamy colors to make the space look brighter. Over here, I have this spot, um, that frame. I got it from the Facebook Marketplace. Those I got at the curb, those I got on the curb, and then that was thrifted and that one I made, and then this was on the curb as well. Um, it just looks very fresh and pretty, and I just love that quote. I'm not sure if it's a verse or not, but it is from a song that Carrie Job sings. Um, it says, may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations. I love that song. You need to search it up and listen to it because it's so beautiful. Right next to our couch, I have this little table that I found. No, I didn't find it. This little table that my neighbor gifted to me. I painted it. She gave me two of those. I painted them white and I also did a video on it on my channel. It's a trash to treasure video. So check it out at the bottom i have a basket that i found on the curb and we just put our blankets in there and then i have a candle burning and then my lamp that i thrifted this little chair on the floor is actually my husband's because he plays right here sometimes if he's not playing in his pc he's playing <laughs> minecraft with the girls and they sit down on the floor and he has to have a chair on the floor like a child apparently <laughs> and then this is my new rug i got it from amazon i will try to link it for you guys but it's really pretty um and it was very inexpensive i think it was like 50 something dollars Right on this wall behind our TV, I have a galvanized giant, giant like galvanized big bowl of something. It's huge. Because it was galvanized, I had to paint it white because the space started, started feeling very dark because of this big TV. So now it looks more airy. Those sconces I found on the curb with the little uh, plants inside as well. And then over here, I have an olive tree with a little table I found on the curb, a custom sign that was made from my friend Lindsay to us. Um, it says Palomo Party of Five. And then I have a little white church, a wa wax warmer white church. It's from Sensi. And then over here on this wall, I have a wing back chair that I got from the Facebook Marketplace. I wanted to buy some covers for it, but I ended up not doing it. I'm just going to keep it like that because it does bring a pop of color in this space. I will eventually, honestly, buy a cover that will be white, of course. But maybe once my son gets older because it's a little hard to keep things white in this house. Um, and then right next to it, I have a telephone table that I got from someone on the Facebook Marketplace as well for $25.00. This lamp, I also got it from the Facebook Marketplace. And then you can't have a telephone table if you don't have an old phone. So I thrifted this phone and I did a video on it as well. It was a thrift haul. Um, and I just have it on top of some old books. And then right behind it, I have a frame I, that I've thrifted, painted black. And then I added a quote on it, but you can't see it because the door and the basket are on it um i have a garland around the whole frame and then my wicker purse i found that in lejeune and then i have a wreath on it and 
And then this table, not table, this door frame, I um, found it at an antique store for $25. table I have a pillar with a candle inside of it this candle smells delicious it's in the sand seaside wood I love it and then I have a little bunny right next to it with a with a silver cup and a bunch of candlesticks and then and then all those stuff are sitting on my favorite book my favorite coffee book actually it's the home body book by Joanna Gaines I love it, it inspires me so much. This coffee table, I got it from the Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, I think I got it for $50, like something crazy like that. It's very sturdy and very heavy. And then these pillows, they're not pillows, they're like seat cushions for a sectional. I found them on the curb, I washed them, and then I ended up adding some ticking stripe uh, stripes on them, like I painted, on, painted and painted them on them.